Hi, in this project I'm going to show you how to make a portable 12 volt battery box. The box chosen for this project has a lid that flips open to a section where I've mounted my electronics. I've mounted an instrument panel that contains a 12 volt power port, a voltmeter, and a USB power port. And I'm going to wire up two separate circuits that are controlled by the switches that you can see in the box. So let's get started. This is the Atwood dry storage box and one of the reasons I wanted to use it is because I mentioned earlier when you open up this top lid you have this contained area in here which I'm going to mount my electronics and you can see to save time I've already marked out where I'm going to drill the holes for my three gauges as well as these dots here which is where I'm going to drill the holes for my switches and what's neat about this box as well is it has a latch right here and then it's also got two holes if you want to put locks on it and it opens up and it's also got this little center section that pulls out and then again opens up into this deep box so this is a pretty versatile box to be used as your battery box and also dry storage for any other items you might have these are the major parts you're going to need for this project. The battery box is going to be made from an Atwood Boaters dry storage box. And I'm going to use these three gauges, which include a 12 volt cigarette type power port, a voltage meter, and a USB power port. Also, what I'm going to be using is this waterproof fuse holder and this 12 volt 30 amp lighted on off switch. I'm only going to be using one instrument panel for each box but I will use two of the waterproof fuse boxes and two of the on off switches in this project because I'm going to wire up the 12 volt power port separately with the voltmeter because that's going to be the power port that draws the most energy if you want to use it and so that one should have the voltmeter on it. The USB port will be hooked up to its waterproof fuse and switch separately. And then the other things I'm going to need to do some of my daisy chain connections for the wiring, I'm going to use these male-female adapter connectors that will allow me to hook up two different wires to one post on the gauges. And then once I install the instrument panel, I'll use these 632 times one half stainless steel bolts and threaded lock nuts. So those are the main parts other than all the electrical connectors will be marine rated with heat shrink on them to, uh, for moisture resistance. So that's it. So let's get started. This is the wiring diagram for the battery box. The top three circles represent the power port, the voltmeter, and the USB port. The red and black lines represent the connections. The black lines are negative connections and the red lines are positive connections. Now you can see that the power port and the voltmeter are daisy chained together with the negative connections and the positive connections which then the positive connection goes to a 12 volt 15 amp fuse and that continues down to the center terminal or load terminal for the on off switch and the negative from the daisy chain of those two goes down to the negative part of the switch. The positive tab of the switch then goes to the positive side of the battery and if you look to the other side you see the USB port is on its own circuit so the positive goes to the 
fuse, which is a 12 volt, 5 amp, and the negative is going to go down directly to the negative terminal of the switch. The fuse then goes into the center terminal or load of the on-off switch, and then the positive is connected to the positive of the battery, and the negative is connected to the negative of the battery. Now when I connected both the on-off switches, I connected the negatives and the positives from both those switches together and then attach them to the plus and minus of the battery. This is the inside view of the electronic connections of the box. And you can see here is the switch that runs over to the 12 volt power supply along with the voltmeter and this is the switch that connects the USB port and here are the two uh, waterproof fuse holders that luckily were able to fit just in these little uh, sections of the box so I could just press fit them in there and then you've also seen how I've run the wires just to make it a little bit neater and then actually also used some color-coded shrink tubing on the battery hookups just for easier identification purposes. Okay, so now you've seen how the box is made and how it works. So if you have any questions, please leave them for me in the comment section. Thank you.